Dear Santa, I know we threw snowballs at you that one time, but I promise we haven't thrown anything since that one game against the Capitals. This year, I'm hoping you can put us on the nice list. I'm not asking for a Stanley Cup or even lots of wins. I am just asking for some things for our future. Love, Jillian, your favorite Flyers fan. really like a new coach. I have not been a fan of Hackstall for a very long time. It's very clear that Hackstall is just not the future coach for the Flyers. I know that it's the middle of the season and it's really not likely that any good coaches are gonna come up right now. So Santa, if you could please line it up so that at the end of the season there's a good coach available, it'd be really appreciated. Number four on this list is more depth and experience. We have all loved that Hextall has really emphasized the development and growth of players and not wanting to rush them into the major leagues. We're getting a little bit antsy here as we saw after that 10 game losing streak. This young team, you have Provorov, Patrick, Hag, Sandheim. I wanna see more out of all of these players in the future and I wanna see them come together with that core they have with Drew, Simmons, and Voracek. And I'm looking forward to the future but that future is next year for me. I'm getting real antsy. So please, Santa, can you give us a little bit more depth? Number three, goaltending. And this is not a dig at Elliot. Elliot has been amazing. He's been a rock, really, for the Philadelphia Flyers. But I'm also not naive enough to think that he's the goalie of the future for us. My entire life, the Philadelphia Flyers have lacked what I like to call a franchise goaltender, a goaltender that's like Tom Brady for you. Okay, Tom Brady might be aiming too high for the Philadelphia Flyers, but you know what I mean. I want that goalie that'll be there for us. I just want to know who the goalie of the future is going to be for the Philadelphia Flyers. Number two on this list is so important for the Philadelphia Flyers' future, and that's for the draft lottery to be weighted evenly amongst the bottom five teams. There is no way the Philadelphia Flyers are finishing as horrible as the Coyotes, the Sabres, or even the Avalanche. While, those, while the Flyers, we don't expect them to finish that poorly, there is a chance that they kind of go that low, maybe the bottom fourth or fifth team. And it'd be really great to see that draft lottery weighted pretty evenly amongst those bottom five teams so the Flyers can get a good pick just like last year's draft. Number one on this list is for December to never end. And that's not just because of the Philadelphia Flyers' amazing record so far in December. I mean, it's a little bit because I just love Christmas and I love the holiday spirit. <laughs> but in all reality, the Flyers are doing amazing so far in December. If it continues this way, we might not have to worry about numbers two through five, but hey, this is a wish list, right? So thank you guys as always for watching. Please let me know what your top five wish list is for Santa for your team this year. And I hope you guys are having an amazing holiday season so far. And as always, cheers to hockey guys.